everyone and welcome to my channel and today we'll be doing this painting of God one of God's masterpiece which is a sunset um, today I'll be also be sharing my testimony while I paint um, yeah so a quick disclaimer I am NOT a professional painter um, I just find it very relaxing and therapeutic and that's why I do it um, I must say when I started using these paints I realized they weren't of great quality which I didn't expect because I got it from the dollar store um, so they're water paint so they were a little bit hard to work with but I I made it work um, so if you guys have um if you guys want to let me know down below what you guys do what are some of your hobbies that you do or the things that you do that you find relaxing and therapeutic and you can just let me know down below in the comment section um yeah so if you want to see um the finished product you can watch till the end and see how i created this i struggled a little bit which which is okay but i made it work nevertheless so let's get straight on to the vi into the video um so if some of you guys don't know i was born and raised in jamaica um growing up you know christianity was always a part of my life um talking about god um, being in God's presence, being the host of God was always a part of my life and so I grew up knowing God. So I remember from a tender age I would go to church with my aunt. She attended a Seventh-day Adventist church and I remember going with, to church with her on Saturdays and then I think when I was around five I would attend, I started attending church with my mom when she got baptized and we came to Christ. Um, so I attended church with her, which was on Sunday. So I think for a short time, I might have been going to both churches for Saturday and Sunday because I, I didn't have a problem with going to church. And ever since I started going to church, I would be a part, I was very involved. I would go, I would be a part of events, um, programs, whether it be Easter programs or Christmas programs, I was always involved. And so for me, church was, you know, I enjoyed church. It wasn't a chore for me. I didn't, I wasn't opposed to it. And also for schools, we learned about Christianity in schools. We had devotions. We prayed a lot to God in schools. And so for me, you know, growing up, for me, Christianity was, Jesus was always a part of my life. Um, it wasn't until I was around, I would say, at 12, that when the pastor announced the, I was in church with my mom, and the pastor announced for altar call, altar calls, and I decided that um, I'm going to go up, I'm going to give my life to Christ, you know. I know that he died for my sins and he raised from the dead um, and so at, at the age of 12 I decided to give my life to Christ and that same year I also got baptized so I got baptized at 12 you know and at the time I was you know walking in the life that God called me to um, I put away the you know music music that wasn't pleasing in his sight. Um, I put away you know things that just weren't pleasing, and um, I continued on the walk. And I remember during high school, you know, high school people people weren't on the same pace, not the same pace, but on the same frequency, you would say, as you were, because you're trying to live a holy life, a life that God called us to live. But then in school, you have people doing other stuff that are worldly, and when you don't fit in, when you don't, when you're not doing what they're doing, then it seems as if you are, 
the old cast, you know. So for me, I, when I go to church, I would be a Christian, but when, I'm, when I was at school, I would be just like a normal person. I didn't like, oh, tell others about Christ and such of things of that nature. But I always read my Bible. I was always in Sunday school, but I wasn't um, vocal about my faith. And, you know, it wasn't until around maybe four or five years ago I decided that, you know, I've been in this world and there is nothing that entices me or nothing that I think is more important than God because God is the most important thing to me. And the Bible says to be a friend of God, it means you're going to be an enemy of the world. And, you know, I, from a tender age, I chose this life, so I'm going to live up to that life. And so for uh, it wasn't until four years ago I decided, you know what, I'm going to live my life for Christ. I don't care what no one else has to say. And it wasn't until now that I'm able to talk about my testimony. So here I am sharing my testimony with you guys. Um, so yeah, it wasn't until maybe four or five years ago I decided that I am going to live unapologetically a Christian. And so here I am um, living a life I'm, and I'm consistently trying to gain a deeper relationship with God because back then I didn't really have have a relationship or I had a relationship but it wasn't as consistent and so here I am today just trying to live a consistent life with Christ um, and it's been great you know it's been good I've you know I've experienced God in so many ways I I can't even explain um, and so I'm very thankful, you know, that God saved me at a tender age because God knows where I could have been um, if he hadn't saved me. And so I encourage you guys as well, do not be afraid to share your testimony. I believe all testimonies are unique and there is none that is above none. There's, no, there's not even a comparison because each testimony is unique. And so that is my testimony. I'm still learning. I'm still growing in Christ because God is infinite. And there is so much that we can learn and that we can know about him. And so I encourage you guys, if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I would encourage you to I would encourage you to give him a try, you know, give him a try. If you are an unbeliever and you don't believe in God, I would encourage you to challenge God, you know, say, God, I want to know more about you. Reveal yourself to me, you know. And the Bible said, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. So just ask God if you want to know more about him. So, yeah, that's my testimony. Um... I really like my testimony. It's unique as other person's testimonies are. So I just encourage you guys to share your testimony. Um, yeah, so that's my story. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for your support thus far. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.